Hi guys. Okay, so I'm doing this video here as a request. It's for, um, it was a question about um, exercise two. So I thought I'd put this together for you as a, uh, as a model answer. So this is exercise two on page 92, learning unit five, about four loops. So the question, they give us a piece of code and they say, uh, draw the trace tables for each of the following program segments, and they, they split it in the sort of a top half and a bottom half, uh, showing the values of the variables in memory and the results of the conditions as they are tested and the output that would be, that would be displayed on the screen. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So here on the right-hand side, um, just I'm just using Notepad++ here, I've actually typed out the code uh, and I've used Notepad++ because that allows me um, to turn on line numbers. Okay, so you can see I've got some line numbers turned on here. So you can see what line we are on. And then here on the left, I've just got a, an Excel spreadsheet. It's probably the easiest way to do a trace table. Um, and you can see here that I've actually put a column in for the line numbers. That's just so that you can follow what's going along. And, and you are welcome to put line numbers in in a test and that sort of thing as well. It, it kind of helps you out a bit. It, usually in an, in an exam question, they, they usually put uh, line numbers in anyway, just to, to help you out. So you can see I've got a column for line numbers. And then my code, you can see I've got a variable here called sum. So I've got a column for that. Um, I've got a variable j. So I've got a column for that. Um, I've got this condition here in the loop, okay? J is less than or equal to five. So I've got a column for that. Uh, the rest I've got, I've got J, I've got sum already, uh, but that that's all done there. So the next variable I've got is this one here, loop. So I've got a column for that. I've got a variable here called value. So I've got a column for that. Um, I've got a, a variable here called let, okay? L-E-T-T, -T, it's a char. So I've got a column for that. And then I've got this condition here, okay? Loop less than or equal to 70. So I've got a column for that. And that takes care of everything. And then of course, the, the very last thing here is just uh, what is getting output on the screen. So when let's, let's have a look and see how this works. Okay, so the program starts running. Okay, line number one happens. And we can see that sum becomes 1.5. So here at line point one, um, sum becomes 1.5. Line number two, uh, J gets declared, but it does not get a value set for it yet. Okay. So line number four, we can see that J becomes two. Okay. So here in line number four, J becomes true. And the loop condition, okay, J less than or equal to five is true because obviously two is indeed less than or equal to five. Okay, so that's line four. We then come down to line six. So line six, all that line six does is it outputs um, this, the, the value of J. So it prints two to the screen. Line seven, you can see it prints the sum. Okay, so you can see the sum is still 1.5. Nothing's happened to it yet. So it prints 1.5. Okay, then sum gets incremented by the value of J. So whatever sum was, we add J to it. So sum was 1.5, j is 2, so the new value of sum becomes 3.5. Here in line 8, you can see here line 8, okay, don't worry about these line numbers down the left here in the Excel spreadsheet, we're not worried about that, we're worried about the column of line number. Okay, so you can see here in program line 8, sum becomes 3.5. And the loop goes back to line 4. Okay, so you can see it jumps back to line four, J increments. Okay, you can see that's what happens. We've got J++ over there in the code. Okay, so J, J gets bumped up to three. The, the, the loop condition is still true because three is still less than or equal to five. Then we come down to line six. Okay, and it outputs the value three. So it prints J. Um, then in line seven, it prints 3.5. So it prints the value of sum, and then we can see sum uh, gets increased again by the value of j, so 3.5 plus 3 is 6.5, so in line 8, sum becomes 6.5, and we jump back 
to line four because it goes back to the beginning of the loop again. Uh, the loop counter, which is J, gets bumped up to four. Okay, four is still less than or equal to five, so J is still true. Um, so just as it did up here, it prints the value of J, and then it prints the value of uh, sum, and then sum and J get added together. So here we're up to line eight, 10.5 is a new value. Uh, J gets incremented up to five. Five is still less than or equal to, uh, to five, so it's still true. So it then prints five and 10.5, okay? And then sum gets incremented again. So its new value for sum is 15.5. And then it loops back to the, to, the, to the top here again. J gets incremented. Now J is six, okay? So J has been bumped up to six. Now six is not less than or equal to five. So the loop condition is false and we now fall out of the loop. So the loop stops running. So as soon as the stop, loop stops running, it, it picks up at line 10. Okay, so the, 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 the loop is completed. Line 10 starts. And it's it line 10, you can see it prints the word sum equals, and then it leaves a tab. So it says sum equals tab in line 10. Okay, I can't, I obviously can't, show a tab here well i could put a tab there i suppose i've done it further down here but it says sum equals um and let me let me just put a tab there just so you know it's there's a tab there okay so it says sum equals tab and then over here it's going to say sum equals tab um, and then it's going to print 15.5 uh, okay because that's the value of sum here it's the last value that sum was so it's going to write, it's not going to write the word tab, of course, it's going to have a tab key, some spaces in there. Okay, so it's going to write sum equals tab 15.5. So that there is um, section one. Okay, so that is completed. I just left some empty space here, just so you can see that we are moving on a bit. So now the program moves on. We come down to line 13. Okay, this is now number two in, in the question. Okay, so we've now come down, we've come through, and we're now at line 13. So same sort of thing here. Okay, we get loop, a variable loop gets uh, gets declared, no value set yet. Okay, uh, but there is a number of three put into value. So that's at line 13 over here. So you can see value becomes three. Um, loop is un still undefined at this point in time. In line 14, okay, a, a char, a char variable is declared and is left undefined. Okay, so it's 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 declared, but it's not got a value to it yet. Okay. In line 16, the loop variable gets set to 65. Okay, so that's in line 16 over here. Okay, so I'm in this line here. So 16, loop becomes 65. Okay, uh, 65 is less than or equal to 70, so the loop condition is true, and the loop starts running. So here's what happens here, right? So loop, loop is the number, it's the integer, okay, because it's set as an integer, it's an integer of value 65. Now what they've done here in the brackets, and we, we did this before, um, this is called casting. Okay, so they are casting the integer into a char. Now we can do that because a char is a is an it's a character representation of an integer. Okay, so we, we are allowed to do this. So it's taking the number sixty five, the integer sixty five, and casting it into a char. And if we look up in the ASCII table, we see that the character sixty five is capital A. So let this variable, which we know is of type char, becomes capital A over there. Okay, so let takes on the value capital A. Then it prints, uh, it leaves a space and a tab in line 19. So it leaves a space and a tab. Doesn't write space and write tab. It le that's 
you know, in Excel, I can't show it. If I just put space and tab, it would just so blank. Okay, so spaces means I've pressed the space bar. Tab means I've hit the tab key. Okay, so it's space tab. Uh, then in line 20, I'm printing let. So in line 20, I've now got a space, a tab, and then capital A. And then value, okay, value was three, gets bumped up. So now here in line 30, sorry, line 21, okay, I'm in line 21 here, a value becomes a four. And the loop comes back. So then loop gets bumped up to 66. Um, it is true, okay, the loop is true. The, the char version of 66 is now capital B, Okay, and then it, so now it's going to print space tab A space tab and then line 20 will now print space tab A space tab B. So essentially what's happening is that you're starting to get alphabetic characters um, printed on the screen horizontally. The reason for that here is if you look at your code, there's no print LN. Okay, if it was print LN, the cursor would go to the next line. But they have not done that. They did that up here in the top half, okay? But down here, they are leaving the cursor at the end of the line. So it's printing this, then this, and the cursor is waiting at the end of the line for the next input. And you're slowly going to build up characters across the screen. So that becomes a B, space A, B, um, value becomes a 5, the loop goes around, it becomes 60. I think I've got one too many here now. Okay, this is slightly incorrect. You'll have to just correct it here. I've got one too many in the in my trace table, but but you get the idea. Okay, it's sixty-seven, then it is sixty-eight, then it is sixty-nine, and this because it's a C and a D and an E, and value gets bumped up each time. Value plus plus, um, and then at the very end, okay, once once the loop finishes, okay, so once once the loop variable here becomes 71 okay loop less than or equal to 70 is now false and we will fall out of the loop okay you'll just have to check here because i've got one extra step in here just check and see whether that it's quite possible that that should be a nine i'm not too sure um i'm not going to go back and redo this whole video when you do your trace table um it, you're either going to end up here with 10 or in correcting this error that I've put up here, you might end up with nine. I could have too many steps in here. But you get the idea. Okay, so that's what the trace table is going to look like for the top and the bottom half of, of this little piece of code.